Greetings, dear beloved ones. I am Isis. It is my honor to be here with you today. For today I bring special messages. Yes, today, the one message is quite easy for you to accept. The message is about you. It's about yourself, your feelings, your acceptance, your love, your kindness, and the beauty within. However, another message is one to be excited about, is you have breakthroughs happening. Of course you know you have a powerful full moon in Leo today which brings with it transformation, leadership, inner being, romance, self-empowerment, manifestation. Yes, so it is very exciting for Moon. This has come at the perfect time as you, the light workers, to guide those who are just starting to awaken as well as be of assistance to you who are ready to step onto the new earth but maybe just tying up a few last minute things to clear knowing what you need to be for complete oneness. So, we ask you now to relax, perhaps take a nice deep breath, yes. Today many gathers around to participate in the energies of the day, today and to bring about what it is in this moment, what it is we see that many have been discovering and many have been asking for. Yes, indeed, it is a very beautiful time to be human. We gather here in our hearts to commune together, to be together, to enjoy each other's presence. Today we offer compassion with you, to you, Today I envelop you in my arms, in my wings and bright colours. Dear ones, today we sit with you in your divinity and today I speak of simplicity. We've spoken before of how many changes there are occurring at this time. Indeed, there are many. There are moments of quietude. There are moments of apparent chaos and many feelings within you adjusting within your conscious beingness and many feelings adjusting within others conscious beingness as well. This is causing a lot of questions, a lot of curiosity, a lot of defense mechanisms. Indeed, it is a necessary part of the transitions that are occurring. Indeed, it is a part of the natural rhythm, natural cycles, just as Gaia has her own cycles, just as human beings have their own cycles. There's, there are cycles in consciousness as well, cycles of energy, cycles of conscious awakening. Dear ones, we would like to share that there are special breakthroughs that has been occurring. There is special love in your hearts that is erupting. We see how you are beginning to connect with the energies of home. Once again, you are gaining skill with the consciousness energies in motion at this time. You are gaining a familiarity with how the energies move back and forth 
and you are learning the familiarity with the discomforts perhaps. Yes, dear ones, it is a wonderful awakening process in motion. It is simply being in new, new earth. You have the knowledge, the clearing and cleansing, the support. So now it is up to you. This is why I am happy to share with you, hoping it will help. Many dear ones are moving into this awakening process. Many new, many who have very familiar with it. It is you who are moving about, moving about forward into this loving oneness with being with self. We tell you these emotions, these feelings are natural rhythms that you feel inside and they are part of your journey part of what is occurring around you, part of what is occurring within you, and that is natural. As we have spoken, that is a simple process, although it has caused perhaps a lot of conflict. How to process these energies when you are so used to doing it another way? to being in your own energies, understanding the predictability of what your energies were. And they have become quite unpredictable, have they not? Many questions, the mind especially, have these questions, the belief systems, reacting to the energies which are no longer systematic as they once were. Dear ones, you are most connected with Source. Your love and compassion, if you could see it on the other side, is infinite. It is quite a blessing, quite beautiful to watch. The process in motion, to say I want to be part of this process in motion, and then to go to be a part of that process in a motion to take place, to take part in what that process entails, to experience the process in motion, to know the connection to source within so well, yet to experience so much turbulence in preparation for all. It is a very honourable path indeed. So, beloved ones think that on all the knowledge that you have been exposed to the excitement that you have experienced and just imagine the great excitement that is to come think of the wonder of your growth and the ability for you to open up tapping into your own mind the blessings given to you from the higher realms enabling you to travel to the halls of wisdom and the avenues of knowledge and delivers to you the ability to grasp this information to work with now isn't that a blessing indeed Beloved ones, the energy on the planet over the next couple of months is to increase in intensity even more. So we suggest that you wear very heavy magnetic shoes, <laughs> which brings us to the next grid in discussion, the grid of magnetics. This energetic grid supports manifestation like the unconscious grids to send undesirable thoughts and actions into your physical reality the grid of magnetics supports the laws of the universe the grid of magnetics is an etheric energy belt 
surrounding the planet which encapsulates beautiful Lady Gaia, also serving as a frequency band connecting every cell contained within your bodies as well as every other living form with the crystalline structures and from there into infinity. This is the magnetic area that allows communication between the earth, you and all that exists. It is the magnetic area that allows photonic communication through the photon belt. The grids of magnetics not only work through the laws of the personal mag magnetism of which you are the most perfect example, but connect all in creation. Its energy field impacts into the newly formed grid of human consciousness. The web of love and compassion drawing energy from the photon belt which is connected and supported by super consciousness. And this super consciousness is the purity, peace and balance that all strives for. The most sacred of all, going beyond this we connect to the crystalline grids. And so dear ones you begin recognizing with acceptance you begin allowing yourself to feel. If you sense resistance, watch the justification underneath these projected beliefs and recognize what you are wanting to do. Gain acceptance. And you do not need the mind to do it. You may use it sparingly. If you wish, Perhaps when the mind is in motion, it will most easy to allow it to not be a part of the process. Indeed, as you continue, the mind, mind will gain new faculties. It will expand and grow and gain new alignments with your spirit and body and will be serving you a great deal more as you continue but at this moment when the energies are at rest allow when the energies are in motion allow just allow to be with you in your experience accept them cry if it's necessary express them onto paper express them in your poetry Express them on canvas, anything that guides the mind and anything that moves the energy. This is what you come to do. This is the process of consciousness growth and evolution in motion. It is the highest honour in service currently. Dear ones, these energies are coming into alignment and the simplicity that you have learned to be, that you have craved. The simplicity of your spirit, of the new energy which comes to you in the moment. That is how the new energy works. It is not stored away. Surfacing as needed from what you had experienced and that is what the mind wants to do. That is what the old energy mandated, as it were. But rather you are free to be in your wholeness, in the moment. You do not need the, the storehouses of energy called beliefs. You do not need them to be in your experience. This is the gift, dear ones. This is the natural process. You are doing a beautiful job. Many of us are around you. All of us are promoting your embracing and acceptance. 
promoting your acceptance and release, promoting your courage to be kind to yourself, to be gentle with yourself, to allow yourself to experience spirituality as you have never experienced it before. This is the gift, dear ones. This is the natural process. You are doing such a wonderful, wonderful job. Energy is in motion. Those who are most willing to align and continue to move on in this spirits will be the most whole in presence, in oneness, in joy, in love. For that moment you would not be leading, leaving any of yourself behind. And so, dear ones, it is our honour to serve you it is our honour to bring a message of simplicity, promoting the acceptance and love within yourself and to help you to be the most best version of you you would like to be. We say to you, acknowledge who you are. Stand up for yourself, within yourselves, strong in the realization that you are able to walk and work within worlds that others can't even begin to imagine. Embrace the wonderment of your creation in the ninth chakra by embracing your fully empower itself. Stand proud so that others are, when others ask, who are you? You return their question with a warm embrace, saying, I am wonderful. I am joy. My name is happiness and good evening to you. My name is great excitement. Be it, allow this to become you, for this is what lightworkers must acknowledge. We say to you, experience this by visualizing the happiness, wonder, greatness, excitement. Beloved ones, think back on all that knowledge you've been exposed to and the excitement you have experienced and just imagine the great excitement that is to come. Think of the wonder of your growth and the ability for you to open up, tapping into your own mind the blessings given to you from the higher realms, enabling you to travel the halls of wisdom the avenues of knowledge and delivered to you, the ability to grasp this information and work with it. As a light worker, beloved ones, you have to understand that you are the physical reflection of angelic energy, which is why you are referred to as the human angels. You are the link between the physical and the non-physical worlds. Light workers are the links joining the worlds of science and spirit. You are the wise ones that have come forth this time around to be the beams of light that lights up the world. Therefore it is your duty, not choice, but duty to claim your own magnificence and be the wonderment of creation in physical expression. 
proclaim this with joy and excitement and happiness so much so that the only thing you're able to do is loving this through the rest of humanity. We're asking you to no longer sit passively by the wayside and do nothing. You are being asked to stand up and be counted for your dynamic life force energy is needed now as never before. Use your heart, raise your hand, so you can use your love to create a better moment, a better life, a better love. The heart is a powerful tool. When it is aligned through your will to realize in the potential of facing your challenges with love, working within love, playing within love, and living within love. Challenge yourself that in each moment you recognize an opportunity to give and be love, to live as love, by loving yourself, by loving those around you, by loving the challenges and the dream of love. This is the dream of the heart and soul. It is God's dream that you reach your potential. Let it become yours also. Many of you want love and yet the entire universe offers you the very same. All that you seek is a feeling. All that you seek is love. Create the feelings now. Create the love within yourself now, dear ones. Today is a day to be celebrated. Today is a gift. Today you can have all that you seek inside and begin to create the outer reflections. You wish for you as well. The outside world does not give you happiness, dear ones. You create happiness inside yourselves, in your own hearts and minds. And you can. Give yourself permission to do so, no matter what the circumstances of your lives. All that you seek, dear ones, is already inside of you. Bring it to the surface and you will experience a glorious reflection of that reality in your physical world as well. To take action is all that is necessary to reach the heart of your potential. It is not essential that you change what you do, but rather how you do it. Now is a special time on earth with many of you awakening to the power of love. We call this moving from the head to the heart. Whether this happens suddenly or gradually, every lesson or change of heart on the journey brings us ever closer to the wonderful peace and happiness. Gone is the struggle and effort that once seemed so real and unavoidable, for we have discovered that these very trials were leading you all to an exciting new life, a life of true happiness and contentment, with joy in the hearts that bubbles over into a smile or laughter for the slightest reason. This special time of ascension is a long predicted evolutionary leap for Earth, where society based on money and power will be replaced by one of harmony, peace and love. For a planet or race of people to ascend, they need to become more aware of the natural order that exists in the world. Living in the flow refers to this natural divine order which can be easily be observed in nature's four seasons. By living in the flow, we allow our intuition, 
our inner teaching to determine our actions instead of being guided by our thoughts or lower emotions. Many events on earth are designed to help become more loving. Heart-based being in the heart helps become more intuitive. You will know you are ready to be on new earth, dear beloved ones. When you feel a lighter, finer frequency band of light, 5D, and begin to co-create a new existence where the soul is enriched and together you will walk into a bright new dawn. The earth will be the same and much of the negativity on the earth is 3D which has to be released to allow her to ascend as well, which humanity must help with too. Beloved ones, I have loved sharing with you today and I embrace you with my love from my heart and I hope my messages have assisted you and I thank you for being here with us as I am at your service and call at all time. Namaste. And I, Rosalie, thank you for being here to, today as well. Thank you. Namaste.